guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing my 2020 goals board, I guess. Um, last year I wrote it in my journal, but I found that I just sort of never went back to it. So it didn't quite work for me. Um, and this year I wanted to try something a bit different, make it a bit more visual so that I constantly see it every day, constant reminder of what, what my goals are and uh, what I've achieved and stuff like that. So I've decided to take my little, um, I don't really know what to call it, an inspo board. I usually have this up by my um, Mac in my bedroom. So I just had like really inspirational images on it that would just inspire me every day and stuff like that. So this year I think I'm gonna make it as my goal board and make it a bit more interactive and visual and so I can see that what I wanna achieve in the <clears throat> the year to come I can see it every day and just keep working on it so um, I'm going to pretty much be filming mostly the board so I just thought I'd do the intro and then just go into it I thought it might be just a fun little video um, that we could do together so <clears throat> this is my board you can see loads of little holes in it <laughs> uh, so yeah it's just a big um, board I guess I don't know what it's called MDF I don't know if it's even called that um, but yeah it's just big and blank and what I've already done is I've written down my big picture goals um, <clears throat> they are quite personal so I probably will maybe blur it I don't know um, but yeah so I've basically just written it like that and written, the, written them with like a circle as the bullet point so that I can tick it off when they've been done. So I'm going to have that up in this corner just here like so and then fill the rest of the board. So my plan is to have these ones just here. Under here I'm going to have um, something to do with my YouTube channel just like so that I can check my milestones and just tick them off and, and make a note of when they've been reached and stuff like that. And then I think I'm gonna do like a monthly, um, kind of like a flip board thing, I guess. I think I might do it here where it's just like January, I have each month and then I can rip off the month once it's done. Um, and then, yeah, just have like a little bit more sort of stuff and maybe have like an area for like inspirational imagery and stuff like that, because I'm quite a visual person. So that's the board so far. I'm just gonna, um, what I've been doing is I've just been doing it on my laptop and then printing it out pretty much. But yeah, I've just been doing it on my laptop, printing it out, I've written down some of the stuff. Um, so I will just get on with that for you. Okay, so this is pretty much what I've ended up with. So it looks kind of like this. I've got like loads of space just down here around here and stuff. Just if I want to add some images, um, like Polaroids or whatever. Um, so I've just got Blessed Be My 2020 at the top and then I've got the monthly sort of like task sheet and like things like that, like my five main goals that I want to achieve each month and then any additional little tasks that I might want to do. And then like I've already explained, I've added the um, the card that I pulled from my year 2020 year spread. And then I've got my big picture goals just here with the circles that I can tick off once they're done. The milestone here for one of my big goals so I can just like tick it off or cross it out when I get to each particular milestone. And then here I've just got like a monthly gratitude list. So I've just put down every month like that. And then I just want to write down like one sentence of what I'm really grateful for for that um, particular month each year so that I can visually see it as I go, go on with the year. And then I've just got here like a little bucket list of just things that I kind of want to do. that are a bit more fun. They're not like goal oriented. It's just things that I'd like to do and just sort of focus on. So those are just there and I can tick them off. Um, and then I can also just add to this if I tick them all off or if I want to add to it or whatnot. And then, yeah, and then I've just got the um, as above, so below sort of imagery just there just to, um, just because I like it. It kind of reminds me of what I believe in and links everything together. So, yeah, this is pretty much just going to be like so the start of my 2020 list goals board I don't really know what to call it but um yeah I wanted to keep space here if I did like I said already wanted to add some images um because I am quite a visual person and I like to have somewhere that I can look at things so if um yeah there's like I have got already Polaroids put in a frame up in my room but 
I like to have space here for just like the ones that, you know, just cute funny ones and whatnot and just some cool images that I might find in the magazines or want to print out or whatever. There's space to do so. I hope uh, this inspires some of you to do the same. Maybe it will help with, I don't know, achieving those goals that you might have... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so maybe it will help with achieving some of the goals because I know that I didn't achieve all of the goals that I wanted to for 2019 and I genuinely believe it's because I just forgot that I, I don't know, I kind of forgot, like mid-year, I kind of just forgot I even made a list and didn't even look back at it. Uh, the reason I looked back at it recently was purely because I was thinking about making my new list for 2020 and was kind of just like thinking, I'm almost certain I made one for 2019 uh, and went back and found it. So the fact that it was just in my journal... Um, yeah, I don't think that worked for me personally, so I feel like this might work better and I'm going to give it a go, see how I get on by the end of the year when I'm making my goal list for 2021. We shall see if this worked. But um, yeah, until then, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.